It's been an enormous journey for a family. It started out here as a very small operation where they actually milked seven sheep by hand. Sandy Cameron and Julie Cameron went from being sheep and wheat farmers to producing some of the finest goat cheese, if not the finest in the country, which most of us know as Meredith goat cheese in olive oil. And that harks back to a recipe that I originally saw happening in an Iranian desert village. 40 years ago, in 1972, I was travelling the overland route to India with my wife. We were on a public bus and I got terribly ill. They dropped us off at a village in the middle of the desert, mud huts. The doctor there was marvellous. He treated me, then took me for another treat to watch them making their village goat cheese, which is what I termed later on Persian feta. We stick to the same principles that I saw in the process in the desert, but we've mechanised it a little bit. Obviously, the first step in any cheese making exercise is to get good fresh milk. And we're going to head to the dairy, get ourselves a few litres of fresh goat milk, and then I'll walk us through the process of making this cheese the way I learned to make it. The milk's still warm from the animal. We'll add some rennet to it to set it into a sour milk jelly. Now what I've got here is some dried rennet paste. So we're gonna add some of that into the milk and then leave it to set gently overnight. Our milk's sat overnight and gone sour. You see we've got a junket there and we're going to separate the solids from the liquids. Gradually, over the next few hours, the whey will drain out. You see, what we're doing here is taking the moisture out, as we know that when we dry things, it keeps for longer. Well, what we've got here is the very simplest of all cheeses. We're going to press the rest of the moisture out of this cheese. Salt will draw more moisture out as well. It's the second last step in preserving a cheese. Garlic to stop the mould growing and to give it some flavour. This part I like the best. It's the final preservation of our cheese. Olive oil to keep the air off the cheese. Three weeks and it's ready to go. The most exciting part about all this is sharing this cheese with the people that made it what it is today, I reckon. <laughs>